Yo, this is Satana Plays, Pokemon Blue. Last time we got Zapdos on the team, we even caught it on the first attempt. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So our time to capture legendary birds are over for now. The third one is inaccessible until we do this. We go to Viridian Gym. The eighth and final gym is reopened. So let's go inside. Yo, champion making. Even I don't know Viridian Leader's identity. This will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. I heard that the trainers here are like ground type Pokemon. Yeah, that sounds good with us. So, ground type Pokemon means that they use Pokemon that generally we can take out with our Blastoise. So that sounds good to me. Let's uh, start. Uh, I'm actually going to start by going in this direction. Yeah, we have this once again. Here we go, first battle. Your Pokémon will cover at the crack of my whip. Oh, you must be a, what we call a Tamer? Yep. Tamer wants to fight. Arbok. Shabak. It's not a ground type though, he's a poison type, but... Now we just... We are in the gym find ground Pokémon, let's just give it a ground type move and see what happens. Oh boy, almost one shot of Arbok. You can bite me. As much as you want, that won't help you. I'll just take your strength in the end. Arbok goes down. Good start. Level 41 for Blastoise. Next up is Taurus. That's a new one. Let's actually switch out to... Uh... We're actually... Taurus is a bull. Is it a ground type? No, it's not. Taurus is a normal type Pokemon. It has three tails. And still, it's a uh, not very strong Pokemon. It should have had an evolution or a pre evolution, but now nah, Taurus goes down in one hit. And there we go. Tamer takes down. Yoch, Whiplash! Yeah, you can say that. Let's see what we have up here. Ah, you. Let's fight you instead. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Ah, interesting. That means you're not using ground type Pokemon, and I guess you are a black belt. You will use fighting types. Yeah, and match up. Well, three is pretty good, though. Bet you probably don't like the water, unless you have no special. Mm, yeah, one half. <laughs> wow. Smart trainer. Instead, let's just waste our time using X attack. Give you highest attack test stats, but what will help when you're just taken down with a special? Chuck fainted, and we beat the black belt pretty easy. Archu! If my Pokemon were as good as Karate's eye. So you think your Pokemon suck? That's uh, pretty harsh. Let's go up here. Meridian Gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. Cool. Well, speaking of cool, here is a new trainer. The cool trainer, male. We fought the female before, now we face the male cool trainer. Nidorino. That's fine. Let's use a ground type move in a ground type gym to make it super effective. Which is uh, counter effective, shall we say, but... Nidorino goes down. Nido King, yeah. The final evolutional form of Nidran male and the evolutional form of Nidorino. This Pokemon is pretty cool. This is a Pokemon I used a lot to make back in my days. But as Nido Queen, he gains the ground type. As well as having poison, that means he weaks to water. So see you, Nido King. And Blastoise goes to level 42. 
This guy learned School Bash. Not gonna learn School Bash. The move we have for Blastoise now is the one that I want to use. So, Cool Trainer Mail goes down. I was beaten? You can go on to Pokemon League only by defeating our gym leader. That's correct. By beating his gym leader, we can go to the Pokemon League because that will give us the 8th and final Poke Badge. Let's go back to the entrance again. Let's head... Uh, let's head upwards. We're spinning around, spinning around. I don't get sick, I'm just spinning around. Ooh, trainer. I am the Karate King. Your faith rests with me. So you are the strongest black belt in the game then? I guess. Well, show off me your skills then. Machoke. Level 38. If he's the Karate King, then why does he have a weaker Machoke than the other black belt I fought? So much for being stronger, I guess. Give it a little bath. Let's see how he reacts to the bath. Almost one shot. Much for your strong Pokemon, I guess. Strength. Machoke goes down. Oh, much up. From wor weak to weaker. Okay. Let's see if much up can survive a bath. And there it goes. One shot. Last up is another Machoke. It's Machoke, Machop, Machoke. That's uh... I want this really impressive for a Karate King in my opinion, but... I don't know. Some people maybe have different versions of how strong and good. Look at that, almost one shot the Machoke. Low kick. Doesn't scare me. I finish up with the strength to say PP for Surf. And Machoke goes down. And the back belt goes down, aka the Karate King. Arrgh! Pokemon League, you don't get cocky. Cocky? I would say that I'm confident. And I'm very confident because if I beat your leader, I enter the Pokemon League. And that is what we are going to do. So let's continue in the gym. Three tenders here. Start with the bottom one first. Roar, I'm working myself up into a rage. You angry with me? Cool, let's fight. A black belt. Matchup. Level 40 matchup. That's pretty high level for a non evolved uh, matchup. Let's give him a bath. Let's clean up the mess. And it goes down in one hit. And his next one is a Machoke. We have faced Machoke before. Guess we have to keep fighting them. This should have been almost a fighting gym because we have fought more fighting type than we have fought ground types. That makes me kind of worried about this whole gym in general. But we fight them. Level 43 for Blastoise. And we beat the Black Belt. War! I'm still not worthy. You're not. And we go to Notre Dame directly. Huh. You must be running out of steam by now. Mm, no, I don't think so. What about you? Cool Trainer Mail. Ah, Ground Type. Sand Slash. Level 39. Now we're talking about more equal type Pokemon. I'll let the Surf. And down it goes. He faced off against Doug Trio. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, dug a hole. Go dig. Yeah, Doug Trio can learn dig by nature. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. The problem with Doug Trio is that they have low health, low special, low defense. They just high attack and high speed. That makes them very weak to a surf. Beat the cool trainer mail. I ran out of gas. 
Oh, you are gas. You need to fart them. Need power to keep up with our gym leader. Yeah, who is it to them? Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Music? Are you a rocker? No. You're a tamer. One Pokemon. Rhyhorn. 43 is pretty high for a Rhyhorn. We will take you on. You really hate the water, so I am confident I'll take you out. And you go down the drain. Goodbye. You beat the tamer. You are in perfect harmony. I am. Now let's see. Do we have any elixirs here? Don't think so. No. Revive. And another battle. This will be the last one before a gym leader. The truly talented win with style. So you must be a cool trainer, I guess. Yeah, male cool trainer again. And he has a Rhyhorn as well. Two Pokemon trainers in a row with a Rhyhorn. That's fine. Use our last PP on Surf. And Rhyhorn goes down. Level 44 on Blastoise. It's pretty good. I lost my grip. The leader will scold me. I guess. Now I actually have to go out of the gym now because I really need to have Surf for the gym battle against the leader. What's his name? But leader. So we need to get the PP up because the leader will be using ground type. Pokemon as well, and we want to have Surf for our Blastoise. We can use Articuno as well, but I want to level up Blastoise, so we can be good in the gym. So, who can it be? Who is the last Pokemon gym leader to fight before we head to the see any collection here, we have the badges here, but the last guy is a question mark. Well, it is time to reveal the identity of this Pokemon Gym Leader. And here we go! Doesn't he look familiar to you? If you thought about him... You're right. The gym leader of this gym is someone we have fought before. So let's get going. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho ho. This is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni. The greatest trainer! What? Yes! Giovanni is the gym leader of Meridian City! He's the final challenge before the Pokémon League! And he has five Pokémon ground types. This is the third and final battle with Giovanni. This time we have something to fight for. We want to have his badge! And that is why I have to have Surf ready for this. Surf will be a great save. One hit KO on Rhyhorn. Because Rhyhorn is his weakest Pokemon by far. Next up against Dog Trio, we'll keep on to Blastoise. The Slash. Of course, all the crits. There goes Surf on Dog Trio. Dog Trio is weak to water, so that is just good for us. And down it goes. Two down, three to go. Next up is Nido Queen. Yeah, so we face up against two Nidos of this team. First off, the Queen. She also uses a mix of poison and ground. The Surf does the thing against the Nido Queen. Oh, that was close. 
Okay, you want to tail whip me? Fine. I'll just give you a little strength. And Nido Queen goes down. Then we face the Nido King. We'll give it a surf. Let's see if he survives, unlike his sister. Who actually survived barely. He goes straight down! Nido King is down. We have one last Pokemon that stands between us and the Pokemon League. At last, it goes to level 45. Here we go, it's Rhydon, the evolved form of Rhyhorn. And Rhydon is level 50! Well, that's gonna scare us though. He's still a rock and ground type, which means he hates Surf. Watch and listen. Ah, yeah! Rhydon goes down! 2000 XP! And Zitano had beaten Giovanni. It's over. Ha! Huh. That was truly intensive fight. You have won as proof. Here's the Earth Badge! Nice, nice, nice. The Earth Badge makes Pokémon of any level obey. It is the evidence of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. TM27. TM27 is Fisher. It'll take a Pokemon nut with just one hit. I made it when I ran the gym here, too long ago. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I'll dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. There we go. Two endings just gotten right there. So, with this, Team Rocket is officially disbanded for good. And we have gotten our eighth and final badge. This means now we can go to the Pokemon League and we can fight the Elite Four and the Champion. We are getting close to the end of the whole damn game. Now, things are about to be very interesting. We have completed the Pokemon Gym Leader challenges. We have all 8 badges. We have fought Brock, we fought Misty, Lieutenant Surge, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, Blaine, and Giovanni, who was the 8th Gym Leader. And now we can finally head west to Viridian like we tried in part number 2, where we found out that was not very smart. But now we can go here. And we can go and go for the Pokemon League. And I will do that in the next part, but also remember, on our way to the Pokemon League we will go and fight the third legendary bird, Moltres. He is hiding in the Victory Road, a cavern that serves as the final test before the Pokemon League. You go through the po Victory Road, ready to fight Elite Four and the Champion. That we'll be doing in our next part of Pokemon Blue. We're getting near the end guys, we have only a few more parts and then we will be calling it for Pokemon Blue. So if you have any feedback on my Let's Play or want to discuss this game, leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.